now let's talk about another question this question is from the topic tri party struggle question is the tri patriot struggle was a contest of contest for supremacy in north india access the causes and consequences of the tri patriot struggle so let's discuss this question the tri partite struggle was a prolonged and intense conflict for the control of the fertile and strategically significant region of kannauj in north india it involved three powerful dynasties the gurjar pratiharaj the rashtrakutas and the palaj spanning nearly two centuries from 8th to 10th century ce this struggle was emblematic of the broader contest for supremacy in north india during the periods now let's talk about causes of the tri partite struggle first one strategic importance of kannauj kannauj located in the heart of north india was a city of immense strategic significance controlling kannauj meant controlling the rich agricultural lands of the ganga yamuna dwap a vital economic and trade center first sub point its location made it a hub for trade routes connecting north india with the rest of the subcontinent making it a lucrative prize for any ruling dynasty second point power vacuum the decline of the gupta empire and the subsequent harsha empire left a power vacuum in north india creating an opportunity for regional powers to expand their influence third point political ambition for supremacy the struggle was fueled by the ambition of the three dynasties to establish their supremacy in north india the gurjar pratihara under rulers like nagbhatta ii and mihir bhoja sought to revive their power after the decline of the vatsayana dynasty dynasties aiming to establish kannauj as their capital first sub point first sub point the palaj under dharmapala were expanding westward from bengal with similar aspirations the rashtrakutas led by dhruva dharavasha and later govind third sought to extend their influence from the deccan into north india making kannauj a key target fourth point religious and cultural prestige kannauj was not just an economic and political center it was also a significant religious and cultural hub first some point it was seen as the legitimate seat of power for ruling north india with historical ties to ancient dynasties like the guptas and harshvardhanas so let's talk about consequences of the tri partite struggle first one prolonged political instability the tri partite struggle led to prolonged political instability in north india the region witnessed frequent battles and shifting control among the three dynasties preventing any single power from establishing a long lasting and stable rule over kannauj first sub point this constant state of warfare weakened the regional powers leaving north india vulnerable to external threats including invasions from the northwest second point economic disruption the incessant conflict caused significant economic disruption in the region first sub point the ganga yamuna dwap one of the most fertile areas in india suffered due to the destruction of agricultural lands disruption of trade routes and heavy taxation imposed by the varying dynasty to fund their military campaign third point cultural and religious patronage despite the conflict the period of the tri partite struggle also saw significant cultural and religious patronage particularly from the pratiharaj and palaj first sub point the pratihara under rulers like mihir bhoj and mahendra pala one patronized hindu art and architecture leading to the construction of grand temples such as the gwalior fort and the dasavatara temples in devgarh 
the palas on the other hand were great patronage of buddhism supporting the construction of monasteries like the somapura mahavira in bengal second sub point decline of the three dynasties the pet the protracted conflict ultimately led to the decline of the all three dynasties involved the gurjar pratihara who initially emerged as the strongest contenders gradually weakened due to the constant warfare and internal strife within this sub point a sub point is the rashtrakuta despite their initial successes were unable to maintain their hold over north india and eventually faced decline due to revolts and internal power struggle second sub point within this sub point is the palas do dominant in bengal could not sustain their influence in north india and their power waned by the end of the 10th century third point main third point regional kingdom the decline of these dynasties paved the way for new powers to emerge such as the cholas in the south and the rajputas in the north india first sub point it is it also left north india fragmented contributing to the eventual successes of muslim invasions in the 11th and 12th centuries so at last let's conclude although no single power emerged as the absolute victor the tripartite struggle left an indelible mark on the indian history demonstrating the dynamic and competitive nature of medieval indian politics and setting the stage for subsequent developments in the subcontinent so this is all about this question